All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. Special shout out to Control Alt Delete and all the other hard restarts we have in life, like hot showers and naps. Really, really important things, okay? All right, um, here's to a great rest of the year. We got an isosceles triangle whose perimeter is 32. The length of one, uh -huh, the length of the altitude to its base is eight. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. If I called this x, what would this part be? X. Sorry, you guys aren't on this, so I'll just answer my own questions, or Bethany can. How about that? And I don't have anything else to do for this right now, so I. Let's see. I'm just going to set up a system of equations, and then I might do this a different way. But this is literally, I'm doing this like I'm doing it for my first time, because I don't remember how to do this. Okay? I'm going to need two equations, because I have two variables. One of the equations is pretty simple. 2y plus 2x equals 32. Okay? The other equation is also pretty simple. And that would be, do you know that? x squared plus 8 squared equals y squared. Now, what to do from here is the major question. Okay? And what I'm going to do is write this, divide all this by 2, and you get y plus x equals 32, and I'm going to solve that thing for y. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gosh, we would have wasted a ton of time. Huge, Brendan. Okay, so far so good. You ready for the bad news? It's all algebra from here out, and it's tough. So, x squared plus 8 squared equals what? 16 minus x squared. x squared plus 8 squared equals 16 minus x times 16 minus x. I so recommend you do that, because now what can you do? You can FOIL it. I can write this as a 64 now equals, okay, 16 times 16, is that 256? Help. 256 um, minus 16x minus 16x is a negative 32x. You okay with that? I just did outer and inner at the same step. And then that's a plus x squared. Oh, and sometimes Johnny Algebra is just nice to us, because what can we do right now? we can cancel the x squareds. Okay? So it's actually easy from here on out. We don't even have to do any quadratic formula or factoring. Um, let's move this over. Someone do 64 minus 256 for me, please. Negative 192 is negative 32x. So 192 over 32 looks like 6 to me. And there you go. Amazing math. What if I never had said boom, and I always ended it with math? It doesn't have the same effect. Boom! 